Hello and welcome back to another landing page design tutorial and this is a really awesome camping website and we're gonna build this from scratch inside HTML, CSS and JavaScript for complete beginners. So this will be a beginner friendly tutorial and as you guys can see this is a really awesome landing page. We are gonna make use of HTML, CSS, CSS Flixbox, CSS Grids and some basic JavaScript and at the end of these videos we will make it completely mobile responsive we, we're going to be writing some basic javascript code and yes we again uh, at the end we will be pushing this project live on github pages so you can show this on your portfolio and with that said uh, you guys can uh, get the starter files from here i'm gonna provide this link in the description so these are the starter files uh, as you guys can see i have just wrote some basic html and css all right and you guys are gonna get these files from github and the next thing is i'm gonna provide a link to this file in the description and, and yes with that said let's get started so we are gonna go get started with the header section and we have a really cool looking header background uh, some uh, a nav bar and you guys can see a logo nav elements a button and some header text so let me open up my code editor and i'm gonna go and get started so first we need a header tag with the class name of header and inside that we need a nav tag with the class name of nav and inside that nav all right let me remove this dot so inside that name we need a, a dot container dot nav underscore container and inside that we need an anchor tag with the class name of nav underscore logo and this will goes nowhere and inside this nav logo anchor tag we need an image with the last name of nav underscore logo underscore image and that image come from images and logo all right so right after this anchor tag we need a ul with the last name of nav underscore list and inside that we need li with the last name of nav underscore item and we need five of them and inside each we need an anchor tag with the class name of nav underscore link hit enter and the first one is let me see home about campground and contact so home about uh, camp ground and the last one is contact and this is not going to be a nav link but a nav button and the text will be book now so that's all for our uh, nav bar let me go ahead and open up my css so first we will style this but uh, right here i think we need to change this max width of a container but let's see so i'm gonna go and add a comment of header and dot header for header our width will be 100 percent height is going to be 100 bh save and now for the nav bar so nav will have a width of 100 percent and height of 10 rem let's try 10 rem for now into this nav container we're going to have width of 100 percent height of 100 percent so this 100 percent is basically uh, this 10 rem because this nav container is a child class of a uh, nav class all right and this will have display of legs align items in the center and justify content space between save and let's have a look so where is 
okay let me open up this with the live server and this is gonna open up my firefox but i would like to open this inside chrome all right i'm gonna close this and yes here you guys can see but one thing we just missed is give this header a background image so background image come from url come from images banner and background size cover background repeat no repeat save and here is our background and it's looking good but this name uh, logo image i'm gonna copy this class and right here i will give this a max width of 60 percent let's try 60 mm, yeah it looks good to this name list i'm gonna give it a display of flex and align items in this center to this nav item let's give some margin so zero rim from top and bottom and 0.7 rim from left and right so you can have some space like this now to this nav link i'm gonna go and give it a text color of white and font weight will be 600 so yeah just like this now let's go ahead and style this button but uh, okay let's give it some padding as well so 0.5 frame and 0.7 rim so you can have some more spacing just like this mm, and if i see i think i have make it more bolder so i will make it five five hundred mm, still let's try four man yeah it looks good now uh style this nav button so this will have margin lift of two rim let's try this and just like this and it will have a background uh, it will have a border so first of all the color will be white the font weight for this one will be 500 uh, padding will be 1.2 rim and 2.4 rim and border will be one pixel solid and white color mm, yes I think looks good and uh, okay let me rethink mm, okay let's give it a border radius of three pixels mm, let's make it more let's make it one rim it looks better but let's make it uh, the border two pixels yeah better now and yeah that's all for our uh, nav bar but as i said let's just uh, change the width of it to 114 rem yeah it looks uh, somehow good let's make it one two four yeah it, this one is looking better now yep but let's make the border one pixels again so one and let's make the padding one rem and two rem from the left and right now it looks good it looks better 
so now let's move on to the header text so right here after this name i'll have a section called header underscore wrapper and inside that we need a header underscore content and inside that we need h4 with the class name of header underscore title underscore um, header underscore secondary underscore title and it says let's copy it from here paste it and right after it we need an h1 with the class name of header underscore main underscore title and it's this one so copy and paste and right after this we have a header button so an anchor tag with the class name uh, okay let's make it a button with the class name of header underscore btn and inside there we have an image and give it a class name of header underscore btn underscore icon and icon come from images and video icon and right next to it we need um, a span tag and the text says watch this video save mm, that's all for our html and yes it looks good so let's go ahead and make it um, this header wrapper and uh, okay let's make it a container as well save just like this now to this header wrapper i'll give it width of 100 percent and height should be calculated so uh, the height will be 100 vh minus 10 rem which is the height of uh, nav bar and display will be flex justify content not justify content but align items in the center save mm. yeah but justify content should be Uh, center end first line flex start let's try this maybe now it's not working so lift we want this content here so align items in the center and text align should be lift i don't know how we can fix it hmm. or we can make it align uh, justify content center and text align center i think we are going to go with something like this uh, and this one you want to look better so let's see this one should have margin bottom of 1.5 rem and color should be white save mm, yeah let's make more memories save 
something like this and the fault weight will be 400 so it can look visible and to this main title I'll give it font size of 4 rem yeah and we need a brick tag here and we need a margin bottom of 3 rem and color of white just like this and to this header btn it will have display of legs a line item center and background none just like this but why we go like this outline of none border of none this will have cursor pointer in dot header btn there is span tag it will require margin lift of 1.5 frame and color of white to this header mm, justify content center but now we, we need this in here so margin zero auto yes just like this and we don't need three rim but we need one rim and yeah we are done with our uh, header section so that's all for this one see you in the next one